Hello everyone. Let's take a look at our next problem. Okay, this one is having us integrate um, a function with particular limits. Um, first thing that comes to mind here is uh, I see an exponential multiplied by a quadratic. I know how to integrate one and differentiate the other. So integration by parts might become useful. Um, I think that's probably where I'll start. Uh, so x squared e to the x dx. Um, whenever you see a product of functions, one you can integrate, one you can differentiate, and you're trying to integrate the whole thing, uh, integration by parts is probably one way to go, at least uh, a place to start. So here I've got my integration by parts formula. I'll just go ahead and do my substitutions and see what I get out of this. All right, um, so the first part that I have here, uh, I can just substitute zero and one in for X and take the difference. Uh, and I'm left with another integral where again, I'm just gonna do everything by parts. Okay, so I've done another integration by parts to go from this term to this one here. Uh, and I'm left with an integral now that I can just do uh, directly. We know how to integrate the exponential of x. Uh, and I'll go ahead and make all of my substitutions for terms here. All right, so we're left with uh, a final expression for um, this integral, e minus two. Um, fairly straightforward overall. You know, the only key here was recognizing in the original function we're trying to integrate that I have something that I know how to take a derivative of easily multiplied by something that I know how to take an integral of very easily. Uh, and so this is perfect situation to use integration by parts. Thanks for watching.